everyone. So we're actually waiting on Blaze because he's running late. So in the meantime, what we'll do is I can chat with you guys, take a few questions. Hello, Denise. Thank you for joining. Hi, Linda. So does, I want to know who's cooking along with us today. Anyone that's cooking along with us today, let, let us know if you're doing fish, if you're doing shark, if you're doing shrimp, what are you going to do? Hi, Ambika. So let's just wait. Let's see how long Blake is going to take before he gets here. So guys, um, today I'm actually using tilapia instead of shark because with sustainability being a problem and with overfishing, um, we try to use what is sustainable. So I went with tilapia because that is readily available here. Um, if you're in Trinidad and there's a big amount of shark on the market, of course you can buy that. But if, if it's not available, feel free to use any type of fish you like or any type of white fish, something that is firm that would stand up to frying. And I'm located here in Florida, for those of you all who don't know, um, which I know a lot of you don't know that. So just so that everyone gets to know a little bit about me, I migrated from Trinidad when I got married and I now live in Florida. So all of the shows that you are seeing, they're based here in Florida, unless I visit Trinidad. So let me just see all who, hi, Sunita, hi, Cindy, Mala. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you, Riva, Ambika, Sandra, Deborah. Anyone's cooking along with us? Now, this is going to be on the page. So even if you're not cooking along with us, you can always gather your ingredients another day. And you can do this video um, or this recipe. So today's video is being sponsored by the National Flour Mills. And we're using their, bake fr their instant bake mix. All you have to do is add some sugar, some salt, and your water. Everything, all the leavening agents for this fry bake mix, all of the leavening agents for this fry bake mix is already in the flour. And all you have to do is just add the water and mix. So let's see who else is on, Nadia. They should be joining, joining us really soon. Someone says, what? I'm in Florida too. You see, a lot of people don't know that I am here in Florida. So Dahlia says, my 15-year-old son made pepper wings today from your page. That's a really good recipe, guys, that pepper wings recipe. So I'm just putting a few things together here while we wait for Blaze to show up. He's running late. Um, so a little bit about me is I actually learned to cook watching my mom and my grandmother in the kitchen, even my aunties. And, um, I would pick up from them really quickly what to do. And before I moved to Florida, I actually met with one of my aunt who does a lot of, um, sweets making and all the prayers goodies. And I said to her, look, I need to learn these things before I migrate because when I'm married, I want to be able to do it without having to ask someone to help me. So I really learned a lot from her, my mom, my grandmother on my father's side. And when I was in high school, we had home economic classes and that actually helped. So I loved the home economic classes. It was really, really a fun time to get into the kitchen, not have to worry about the, to learn stuff, like to do mathematics, English, all of that. No, it was actually so fun to just get away, relax and just do these um, practical recipes. So let's see who else is on. Keisha Bell, hi, thank you for joining. Hi, SJC Nielsen, hi Tara. She says she's gonna try my bread today. Thank you very much. Let me know how that turns out. Hi, Nyla, Niala, um, Isabel. Blaze is a true Trini. You sure, right? Blaze running late, just like a Trini. 
Um, I'm on time, so I guess I'm an American trainee. Um, we will start to cook as soon as Blaze comes on because he's gonna follow me and he's just gonna go with my instructions. So we're just waiting on him. Danny says, hi, I tried your doubles recipe this morning for breakfast, it came out really great. So I want everyone to know this NFM's fry bake mix is available throughout Trinidad. You guys need to get your hands on a pack. If you don't have it yet, you need to try it. All you have to do is add your water, knead it into a nice soft to medium dough bowl, let it rest and fry. You'll see me do it today and you'll see how easy it is to use this. And um, for those of you all who don't like flour and don't like to use your hands, you can use a spatula to help you bring the dough together. And once it comes together, then you go in with your hands. So, you know, it's not messy. Trisha says, hi, Natasha. Thank you for your wonderful videos. Um, you are truly a blessing. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, New York City is weather really nice. Yes, it's a good day for bacon shark. Too bad we can't be by the beach to enjoy this. Um, the recipe will also be posted in the comments section so you can follow along. So you still have time while we're waiting for Blaze. You guys still have time. You can go um, probably try to follow along with this recipe and to do it with us. So you can um, take out your fish and put it in the defrost section in your microwave. That does the trick really fast. Cindy, hi Cindy. So the link was just posted for the recipe. So you can click on that. Hi, Farida. Hi, Kay. So we're making bake and shock. Shock and bake. What do you call it? Um, hi, Crystal. Sharmati. Samantha. I'm happy that you guys are liking the videos. Now guys, this is the community kitchen, which is a food drive powered by Proper Eat. This is to help the less fortunate in Trinidad and Tobago. We want to help raise funds to help them with whatever they need in this time, because it's a really hard time right now. And it's true, the Guardian Neediest Cases Fund. So we'd like everyone who is watching now, or if you're re-watching this, please donate. It's an 85 year old charity that does amazing work to help the needy in Trinidad and Tobago. So let's see who else is on. Jessica, Sunita, Deborah. Guys, just bear with us. Um, as soon as we can get Blazer, we'll start this live. Don't leave. Please stay. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I promise you. He's going to make it really fun. We're going to be just casual, we're here, we're hanging out, we're at home. Um, so just please bear with us. We know Trini's tend to run a little late. Keisha, Deborah, hi. I bought the Danish dough hook. Oh yeah, the Danish dough hook, it really is. Let me, let's just talk about it a little bit while we wait, right? So this is called a Danish dough hook. What it does is it needs the flour for you without you know, a regular dough, a regular um, whisk, you would get a ball of dough on the inside of the whisk and it's really hard to work with and it gets heavy. With this, this cuts through to knead the flour and it's a breeze to knead flour and it's strong enough that you can really put some force into it. So if you guys um, don't like to knead flour, you should probably invest in one of this and it's pretty cheap on Amazon. So let's see who else. Hi, Rhea. Um, people are enjoying chatting with me. Um, well, I love that you guys are enjoying chatting with me. Do you guys have any more questions? Um, are you doing the condiments also? So what we're going to be doing is the bake, the shark, and some garlic sauce. Pepper sauce, I know everyone will already have that in their homes. Um, I did not get any tamarind to make tamarind chutney. But if you guys have that, you can use that, you can use store-bought. So not all of the condiments, just the garlic sauce, which I think people are really interested in knowing how to make for those of you who don't know how to make it. Hi, Luan. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Nita. 
he should not have he should not have traffic and you know when you're running late that's when you meet the most amount of traffic Deborah, it was good on mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. I've never tried it on mashed potatoes. I'll try that. Um, but in general, it works great to mix anything. But um, if you don't have that, you can just use a very firm spatula. Um, you don't want anything that's too, um, too soft because you want to be able to maneuver that dough. So... Sunita says he like he getting pretty for this life. He better be do he better don't be getting more prettier than me. <laughs> um, Nikita, hello from Texas. Thank you for joining. Um, please remember to share the link to your pages and please encourage your friends, your families to donate. Just share the link on all your platforms so that we can reach a wider um range of people so that they will know to help donate to this cause. Um, hi, Karen. Hi, Honey Bunch. Zen Zenobia, Trisha, she's locked on in Toronto. Hi. Um, we have Sean. Um, remember, guys, we'll also be doing live cooking courses throughout the month of May with different celebrities and chefs. So keep checking back. Join, if you're not on Instagram, join Instagram so you'll be updated every time um, Proper Eats posts. Hi, Blaze, he's finally here. Un I think you need to unmute. Sorry. Yay. Welcome. Hello, how are you going, Gil? I'm good. You have us waiting. No, Natasha, I am so sorry. Eh? I yeah. know I know you are one of the best chefs I've heard. I, I went and I did some research on you for the past few days and I got so many great reviews. Um, so I'm a little nervous. Because I just thought <laughs> I was an ordinary chef now. They know he's a big time chef over here now. I am ordinary. I mean, you're gonna, big, you're gonna make me cry. There's a big time lady. You see, when I heard it was a big time lady, I went, I got my, my chef, my chef shirt, my chef bandana, <laughs> my chef shoes. I love it. So we so we so we're so we ready. So okay, sorry good. For the arrival. I was I was in a project to try to mince it up fast, not cooking, yeah. but so I'm ready now. So okay. let me what are we doing first? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to take the fry bake mix, which is sponsored by NFM. Remember, guys, yeah. you can get that at your leading supermarket in Trinidad. Yes, so let's show them what the around. pack looks like. Yeah, this this is it here. Good. Right. So it's a, so it's a good size this. pack, so you can get a lot out of it. How many bakes could this be? Well, today we'll be using two cups, so we'll get about eight to ten bakes from two cups. Oh, wow. Good. Two cup of bake. No, two cup of this. So tell me the first thing to do. Open the okay. package. Open your pack and place into your into a big mixing bowl two cups. Right, nice. Thanks, Tracy. Tracy's here with me. Eh? Just to let you guys Hi, know. Tracy. Thank, Thank you for joining you. us. We're maintaining social distancing. Okay, good. So how many cups? So four you want cups? to do two cups. Not four cups. No, two. We'll do two. Okay, you know, if, you, if you want to do four and make extra, yeah, go for it. You know, four cup is different to two cup. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? Okay. All right, all right. We move on swiftly. So that's one cup. So I'm putting this in a, in a, in a mixer thing. You're using a kitchen aid or using a bowl? I use a bowl. I use it in my hand. Okay, good. So I'll use this as one, one cup. I'll get that quickly. I, listen, I can move real fast in this kitchen, you know, man. You think you'll keep up with me? Huh? You think you'll keep up with me? I don't think I can keep up with a world-class chef as yet, but I can try. <laughs> All right. Right? Yeah, tell me All right. right. So, two right, two so we, have, we have our two cups here. So I'm going to just um, turn the camera down so you guys can see. Yeah. So here right. we have the two cups, and to this, all we have to do is add some lukewarm water. So you want to get like about a cup of water that's lukewarm. A cup 
cup of water that's warm. Right. I can get a cup of water to warm it. Hold on, huh? Just... If you can't get it warm, we'll use it as is. Use a just regular pipe, just water, that regular. Water. Yeah. Right? How much, what's your measurement for that, Natasha? Do one cup, but we're not adding all at once. We're adding it in small portions. Okay, great. Nice. So I hope so you guys cup. at home are following along. Yeah, please, please follow along. Please, and please remember from... to donate and share the link constantly. Right. Share that link, please, guys. All right. So, how much water are we adding now? Are you ready? Okay, so we have our water. We're going to add it to the dough a little at a time. So, look at what I do first, and then you'll follow. Mm -hmm. tell me when you're ready yeah so i have my dough i'm gonna add in like about less than a less than a quarter of a cup and i'm gonna start to take my fingertips and bring it together okay if it feels dry go in with some more a quarter you see yeah just keep adding okay. a little at a time no just to let you know this is kind of like the first time i doing dough with my hand yeah, you want to drop your camera a little bit so they can see what you're doing? Yeah, choose it to do this. Do this one. Nice. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Right. So, start a needle with my hand. Yes. Yeah, so Tracy, uh, Tracy is an expert cooker, just to let you know. Okay, well then she'll help you. So yeah. in the middle I'll of criticize, your... I'll criticize me with her eyes. Okay, well, look at this. In the middle of your in the middle of your bowl, yeah. put the water in the middle here. Yeah. And then you just work in the middle. Don't bring the ends out as yet. Just work in the middle to bring a bowl together. Oh, okay. So, so you'll get a small bowl. All right. So pour and work. Yeah. So just work the middle. Do do study where the ends have. Right. So you work in the middle, and eventually you'll get to the ends. Oh, okay. All right. So I work in the middle here. Check my work. See my work in here. Very good. Now okay. add some more. All as right. soon as you start to start to feel it absorb that water, you add some more. Add some more. Okay. And continue to bring together. So you'll get small, small pieces of dough balls, and then we'll take all and bring it into one big bowl. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll work in here. I think I'm hearing myself. Yeah, yeah, echoing. All right, so I guess I'm scrape up some more bowl here. Some more, some more bowl here. All right. Nice, nice. Right, so is it coming together? I, I need a little more liquid, so I'm just gonna go over to the top. Yeah, I think um, you need to put in a little more. I think I should put some more, Jason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put in a little more because if there's a lot of dry flour, you need a little more, but don't let it be too too soft, right? You're looking for a medium ish dough. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Look at this. A little more? Yeah. Okay. All right, nice. Let's just put a little more, scoop it up. Now, kneading flour, to me, um, this is the first time it's a little uncomfortable feeling the flour against your hands. You just want to wash your hand. Yes. Yeah, I guess, you know, you're just feeling to wash your hand. You want to get all, you see this? Look. Yeah. It's like, you know? Yeah. That's, I... that's part of it. Though. Hello. Hello. So once it comes together, yours looks like it's ready. What we're going to do is start bringing all of the pieces together like this into a dough bowl. Into a dough bowl, okay. And if it's sticky, all you have to do is use some of your extra dry flour. And, uh, like this, you take there. some, you sprinkle. You can you can wash out your hands if you want to at this time. Okay, and come good. Back. Thank you. I'm gonna try again. So okay. I'm just gonna take my fingers and clean off my fingers with the the dough like this. So. I 
right, this is what Shannon. So he's just gonna give his hands a quick wash. So if you're home and you're squeamish about needing dough, don't worry. Okay, nice. So, um, Trace, how are we looking here, Natasha? How, how okay, looking? so you're looking really good. So Tracy, just keep um, following him wherever he's going so they can they can see what he's doing in case they think he's cheating. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay I'm, so, uh, so now, this is what we're going to okay. do. We have our dough ball like this. We're going to start to knead the dough ball. We want to get it nice and smooth. So what I do is I hold and I squeeze and I turn. I hold and I squeeze. Again, hold, hold, hold squeeze. squeeze. And turn. And turn. Hold, squeeze, and turn. I think I need to get some more arm. I think it's a little sick. I'll get some here. Nice. Cool. Hold, squeeze, turn. Yeah. Hold, squeeze, turn. Yeah. You want to yeah, put down your ball so you'll get that stability because look, you'll get that stability to press into the dough. Right. Right, yeah. Okay. Could I do it with the back of my hands like this? Yeah, you can do it like that. That's another way to knead flour like this. And then yeah. there's this way where you pull and you bring in, and you pull and you bring in yes. like this. And also my mom doing that. But I like to do that in the last when I'm forming the dough ball because it tends to make the dough tight. Okay, okay. Right, so bam, this is this. Yeah, I like, I like that strategy you have there, Natasha. Looking good. Looking good. Friends, don't forget to share this. Eh? This is this is Blaze, the, you know, the expert chef here. Yes. You know, you all think I can only do radio and television and live events and so on. You all didn't know I could cook like this and, and need flour. Look at this. Good. Man. Really good. So all we're doing is just basically doing this for about two to three minutes. I usually go eight minutes when I'm doing it, but I'll give you a blight today. Yeah, give my, you give my blight. So yeah. it's really eight minutes, right? Like when you're doing this, what do you do? You just do it, you sing a song. I'll be watching television or watching a movie. Oh, you watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, they just... So when, when I'm doing a video and like I have eight minutes to kill, I wouldn't let them, I wouldn't let people watch through eight minutes of kneading. Yeah. So I pause, watch something, and then continue. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, watch the dough. It's starting to get really nice and smooth. Yeah. I like my dough to be smooth. That's how my mom taught me to knead flour. She said, when you have a smooth dough, your what dough looks it? less what than mine. Look how much I have. Dough? Yeah, I, my dough. I find, I find Wait, my unless, dough unless your and hand's it, bigger and it looks. My, my dough looks small. Okay. That's okay. It does. Yeah, my dough. And I'm known for a big dough. So guys, I know um, you all may think that this is a lot of kneading, but it really does help to give you a nice um, bake. And if you watch, it's not that um, firm and it's not that that soft. It's just in between. And that's what you want. It looks good. It looks really good. Is that how you do this? Yeah. Like, like, like wrong it up like this? Yeah, but you you squeezed it really well. Yeah, we'll squeeze it. Yeah, I'm not. switch from hand to hand. All right, nice. So you were so busy, Blake, you couldn't do the promo with me. Hey, I was. You know what? To be honest with you, I'll did you honest. see the promo we put? Um, I heard about your promo. I heard you said I was too busy to do the promo. 
right? I heard about I heard, I hear about you, <laughs> right? But yesterday, honestly, I was I was giving out hampers and so on. Oh no, that okay. I'll excuse you then. Yeah, with with, with some of my team members, um, and uh, we, it really went down into the afternoon, into the late afternoon. Yeah. And I've been more giving out hampers. It was so tiring. So, you know, you get about hampers and, you know, people want to talk and say hello and, you know. Yes, yes. And you don't want to walk away and be disrespectful. No, I don't want to. So, so that, it took me a, a while. So, I, I apologize for not making any promo. So, where did you go? Uh, we went in the Cascade and St. Anne's area. Mm -hmm. And Port the Spain area. Okay. Mainly. Yeah. What charity so, are you with? Um, we, I, I form a company called CCPS and yeah. uh, some of my partners are from the Cascade area. Most of my partners are from the Cascade area. So we, we decided, you know, we wanted to do something special or just nothing special, just to do our part. Yes. In this yeah. whole, you know, in this whole pandemic that we're facing and we decided yesterday that we were going to give out some hampers. So we started just after lunch yesterday and we completed late into the evening. So just like that, you just whip out an apron with your or a chef's coat with your name on it. Where did you get that? You have to hook me up. I, I had this for a previous, I did a, I did a cook it thing already and I made it for a previous. See, that was years ago. I'm surprised I fit into it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get me one of those. Okay, well, listen, what do you want? What do you want on it? Look, Trini cooking with Natasha. All right, cool. Well, that would be that would be my gift to you, all right? Oh, thank you. So hold me to that one. All right. So one. what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm taking the dough like this and I'm bringing it to the center like this. Ooh, I like that one too. You like this one, huh? Yes, Have one here for you. Want it? Try it over. <laughs> so we're taking it. So that apron is, that lion apron is from our sponsors at NFM who are sponsoring this segment, guys. Please remember to donate. donate. They sponsor the fry bake mix that we're using here to make these delicious fry bakes today. Right. So thanks, lion. And listen, you know, in terms of lion, this lion brand has been around since rock of ages. I grew up knowing yeah. lion. Um, well, it was baking powder and lion everything so this is a classic you know what i mean yeah it looks good even though it's open okay so look at this i found mine to into a ball right do you have oil let's drizzle a little bit of oil on it so that it doesn't dry out the top okay just oil, like, a cork, like a cork full um less than that just like less. a few drips that's crazy. Half of that. Feel like a few drops. Like. Put your finger so that a whole lot don't fall out. Right. right. So what do I do? spread it across the top? Yeah. Just cover it both sides and pat it, and we're gonna let the dough sit and rest for a little. I have yeah. I have a damp paper towel here. I'm just going to put over the top because I don't want it to form a skin and get hard or dry. Oh, so if you leave it outside, it would, you know, it would form skin. Yeah. It'll get that dry, crackly skin. Now the oil is ready to what, give it some moisture and seal in the moisture. What's that? The oil is used to give it moisture and seal moisture, right? Yes, to seal it so that it... Um, so that it doesn't dry out if you leave it. Yeah. So, what type of oil were you using there? What oil is this? This is, I'm using Lotus brand oil. So it be from NFM. Okay, good. So guys, you see, NFM has a wide range. They have a wide range of products. And this, um, we have the fry bake mix, we have the oil, and he's putting up for us while we do this. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do, I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. So you, you can talk to them, to them in the meantime. Yes, of course. Now, you see, the question remains in terms of the shark and bake scenario. Is it bake and shark or shark and bake? 
right? That's a, that's a question that, that, that would boggle the mind. But for me, it doesn't boggle my mind because here I look at it. I look at it this way. When you're eating a bacon shop, what your teeth does hit first? Your teeth does hit the bake first before it reaches to the shark. So it's bacon shark. That's my logic. Okay. Let me I hear like, your logic. I like okay. that logic. I would go with bacon shark too, but I would say the B comes in the alphabet before the S, so bacon shark. No, I like that logic. So if it was bake and almonds, Almonds first. It would be almonds and bake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, two logics. It 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 will it will work this time. Because yeah. if you're eating bake and ancho, ancho is a fish, right? Yeah. It will be ancho and bake. But you know what? I think when it comes to bake, I feel like bake should always be first. That's what I'm saying. Because when you're eating, you hit your, your mouth, your teeth biting on the bake first. Yeah. And then it is down to the shark. Yeah. So the first thing your teeth hit is the bake. So it's bake and shark. Yeah, bake and shark. Bake and okay, so always be bake first and then the item that goes inside. Yeah. Right. Good. So that's the rule. It, it it's, it's it's finished now, right? Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Rule. So we have our dough. Let's season our fish. Okay. Uh, sorry. Come here. I'll leave this here. All right, I'll come over here for the fish. So guys, I hope you're all following along. Please remember to share the link um, so that everyone can get that donation link so we can help these families in need. So you have your shark set already in your bowl. Hold on, let me just cut my, uh, cut my package open here. One Before second. You came, I was telling them that I'm actually using tilapia for sustainability because um, shark is overfished and um i wanted to go with something that was sustainable but if they didn't want to use fish they can use shrimp oh okay well what happened the i'm using shark these sharks actually volunteered <laughs> um to become a meal okay good so um we did it with their permission okay good that's good all right so, so I'll, I'll, yeah just give it a quick wash. Wash? Yeah, if you have lime, lime juice, wash it with a little bit of lime juice. Don't let it sit in the lime juice for too long. Um, sorry with lime. Lime is hard and stuff or something like that, right? Lime is. Could I use could I could I use vinegar? Yeah, you can use a little bit of vinegar. That's fine. Lime. Does yeah. lime harden, harden stuff if you, if, you leave it, if you leave it on it too much? Is that well, a story? Or? With seafood, it can cook it because when you think of ceviche, right, we use a lot of lime juice, lemon juice, orange juice to marinate the seafood to cook it. Yeah. So with seafood, you don't want to leave it too long, but it also helps to cut away with that freshness. Right. So wash it out. Full vinegar, wash it out, wash it out after, right? Yeah, wash it out, drain out the water. If there's a little bit of liquid in the bowl, that's okay. That that just helps with the marinade. Okay, great. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And we hope that you're sharing the link. And if you could donate, no matter how small it is, because a little bit will go a long way. And when you add up all of the donations, it will amount to something that would be able to help some families in this time of need. Nice. Okay, good. All right, then looking at this and drain it. Okay. If any got a drain it out. Right, now time to season. So let me turn down so you can see. So we have the fish. And to the fish, what I should have done was while you were doing that, bring over all of these things. And that would have been the smart thing to do, right? Yeah. But you know how it is. I, I forgive you. <laughs> so to the fish, I'm going to go in with some bitters. So just a few dashes. Okay. Bitters here. Mm -hmm. I'm a bitters here. Bam. Nice. Right. So um, I'm okay. I'll wait. Right. 
Next, I have some lime pepper sauce. Now this is my homemade lime pepper sauce. You can use any type of pepper sauce you have. Yeah, I have some pepper sauce here, yellow, yellow pepper sauce. Yeah, that would work fine. Now for those of you all who don't like spicy food, of course you can omit the pepper sauce. Don't like spicy food, I guess. Well, you could migrate. Because <laughs> you, must, you must have a little pepper. Yeah. I mean, when it all comes together, you don't really taste it. So I would say about a two, tea, two teaspoons to three teaspoons. It depends on how much you want. Yeah, I got some dashes here. Not pepper, I want it spicy. Yes. Right, someone so someone is telling us that flour is another option to wash the shark, which is true. A lot of people use flour to wash their meats. Oh, so taking this and maybe right. a spoon. Excuse me, Patrice. I'm just gonna stir this up. Right, so the pepper is in. Right. You know what? To make life easier for you, don't mix until we don't add everything. Okay, all right. Nice. Right. Pepper in, salt and black pepper to taste. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper to about a half a teaspoon of salt or less. Some people eat less salt. If they want, they can omit the salt from this recipe. We have black pepper, quarter, quarter teaspoon. Um, salt, not too much salt. I feel like we should have had Kess in the background singing some music to keep us company, you know. Yeah, boy. Oh, salt is there. Um, let me, I could sing some music while in the background. Just tell me what song you want me to sing and I'll sing it. <laughs> and no song will come to mind. <laughs> you just tell me a song. Why don't you make up a song for my channel? Like a trailer for the channel. All right, let me... You know, uh, Natasha, 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 Natasha. Okay, this is how I start the melody in my head here. Oh, okay, okay. Natasha, 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 Natasha cooking real good. Watch Natasha. So someone, someone is asking, how do they contribute? If you look below in the description box, you'll see the link and you'll click on that link. And it's also on the Proper Eats um, page. Right. Okay, so we have the salt and pepper in. I'm going in with some fish seasoning next. Fish seasoning. Yeah. So I have about a tablespoon of fish seasoning. Okay. Hey, this black pepper one makes <laughs> A tablespoon? Yeah. Fish if you don't have fish seasoning. If you don't have fish seasoning, all purpose seasoning would work fine. And remember, these seasonings would contain salt. Hence the reason why I said if they have low sodium diet, omit the salt completely. Okay, good. Fish seasoning in. Right. Okay. Next, I have my all purpose seasoning and some celery salt. All purpose seasoning and celery salt. So do okay. one teaspoon of each. Some celery salt here. One tablespoon, is it? No, a teaspoon, small spoon. Let's see, what's this? A table or a tea? Looks like a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Okay. Someone said to sing Palance. Oh, Palance with Natasha. <laughs> Watch how she Palance and she cooking. Natasha, do that thing and guys don't eat. Watch how she cooking. Right. Good. Next. Next. Last set of dry ingredients will be some paprika and some Cajun seasoning. Tablespoon? Teaspoon, teaspoon, sorry. Teaspoon. One teaspoon of each. So it's paprika. Yes. And boom. And what else? Some Cajun seasoning. Cajun. Boom, nice. You know, like a chef now, boy. So the link to donate was just posted in the comments. Nice, very nice. 
make sure and hit that little orange button to donate. Right, so we have that. Let's go in with some freshly minced garlic. Okay, my garlic. How much garlic would you say? For like About a tablespoon? Yeah, that will work fine. Three cloves. Oh, three cloves? Yeah, use right. three cloves. No, use your knife. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that will blend it. You're going to have to go all the way down by the blades to get it. Okay. You have one of those little handheld graters? Let me see. I will chop it up. Let me show you my chopping skills. Yeah, let's see some chopping skills. I don't want you to chop your finger in the blender with just three cloves. I'll chop it up into like real small, small pieces. Yeah. Like chop and then, this, yeah, and then what mm. you could do is take the back of your knife and just press it out with a little bit of salt and it would, it would, um, Get it nice and smooth. Say it again. Press it out. Press it out. Right. When you chop up the garlic, if you just put a little bit of salt on it, mm -hmm. that tends, it starts to break down the garlic. So when you press it out with the back of your knife, you'll get a nice smooth paste. Okay. okay. No problem. Doing that right now. Oh, I'm, I'm very quick in the kitchen. You know what I mean? I, I, I more or less, in a kitchen, most times I'm the sous chef. Yeah. Um, I'm not really the, the two chef and the taster. Okay. That's that's how I operate in the kitchen. So I heard that you usually have someone that is always with you wherever you go. Where is he? Where Where is he today? Um, I, I can't I can't divulge his whereabouts. Okay. <laughs> but he will be doing he will be doing one though. Okay, nice. He will be doing one. Everyone was telling me Blaze is going to have you laughing up a storm. Gil, that's not right. Let me fix something here. Excuse me, Trace. Let me fix this. Something, something going on here. Okay, so S I'm going to just respond to some comments. SJC Nielsen says that she feels she's going to make this for lunch tomorrow. So she'll have to watch back our live. Nice. And please continue to share the link so the donations can come in. So when, so I have my stuff kind of chopped up a little bit here. Yeah. You see to drizzle some salt in it. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I, I just like adding that extra garlic, the freshness from the garlic. Um, I know the oil purpose seasoning would have garlic powder or garlic salt in there, but I always love that fresh garlic flavor that it would give her. This is beautiful. Now, I must say, Natasha, you brought out the chef in me today. Eh? We domesticated you for, you have a wife? We will domesticate you for one if you don't have one. I have one. She's well, right. Do okay, so if she's watching, we domesticated him so she could get a break. Well, this is what the cooking I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> so when I go home, it's back make to sure, the old. Make sure carry one for her so she can taste it. I'll, yeah, I'll try. That's if, you know, if me and Tracy decide. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless right. you... Tell me. Okay, green seasoning. About two to three tablespoons. Okay, nice. Well, for some people, they make their own, huh? Yes. Some people, they make their own. As some people don't play, they, they go from scratch and they make the seasoning. Two or three, said? Yeah. So, so Blaze, if you yeah. take a bacon jack for the wifey, she'll be like, oh, so you can cook. And then you see that it's hot water. Mm hmm You'll be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So it's better, Tracy and I just... Eat up everything, and I see you. I really get it. It didn't taste too good. When I know it tastes like I good, you know what I mean? Okay, mix. Time to mix everything together. Okay. You just turn it over. So you know, shark is a very tender meat. I'm, I'm realizing. Yeah. I'll use my um a spatula. See now we have pepper in there. So make sure wash your hands properly since you're using. 
Johan, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't want to be rubbing your eye or anything after. True boy, and I put real pepper. We I should have known that earlier, boy. I just want to make sure that the pieces are coated really well. And guys, look, tons of seasoning in there because that would add flavor to your fish. Yeah, look how nice Blake one looks. I love that color. Yeah, that's from the that's from the Cajun. And the oh, your, your Cajun was a little more red. Yeah, my Cajun is a more kind of red, a red man Cajun. I like it. Red man or Cajun? Cajun. <laughs> oh, so you don't like red man then? My husband. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have nothing against red men. Nothing oh. against them. Okay, good, good. Right. So we good here now. So we, we let this rest too? Or yeah, let's cover and set aside to marinate. All right, go and wash my hands. So give me give me one second. No problem. In the meantime, guys. Please remember to continue to donate. A little bit goes a long way in helping the, the needy. We're trying to help as much um, families as we could. Remember, this is an 85-year-old um, donation fund that you'll be donating to. They're very trustworthy. And um, you don't have, as I said, to donate a lot because it adds up. So thank you to Sumati. Um, also, Maria, check Blaze's face now. When he realized that his hands went down in the pepper. You know, it's still smelling of pepper. Anyway, you're not supposed to touch your face, guys. So, Pat is asking, how do you donate from the UK? There's a link that's in the description box. You click on that link. The link, someone is saying that the link didn't open up. So we're going to work on that and make sure that you guys can hit it to donate. Also, if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see where I posted to donate and you'll see a swipe up. You swipe up and you'll get the link there also. And I also posted it to my Facebook page. Um, and after the live is over, we'll repost it again. We'll constantly post it. And remember, throughout the month of May, we have chefs and celebrities cooking. And um, that's that's really good in terms of the in terms of the donation link because at least you know you're doing this with a purpose behind it. Yes. Um, you're not just doing it to say, well, it's Natasha and Blaze cooking on proper eats, blah 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 blah, community kitchen. So it's good at, and even it's needed now more than ever in terms of that support and that charity. You know what I mean? So. That's I think we need to break our dough. Break your dough? Break the dough into smaller dough balls. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. So I'm gonna okay. show you how I do it. Yeah, let me see. I'm just flowering my hands a little bit because it can be. Right. So the I dough pick up. To swell? What? Was the dough supposed to swell? A little bit. Mine didn't swell too much. Okay. No worry. It was swell when I go into the oil. Okay, all right. <laughs> So you pick up and you take this hand like a C and you go in like this and break the size that you want. So when you break it off, you squeeze to break it off, you get one piece and then you take the ends, bring it up like this to make a dough ball. Oh, nice. So I'll go in. Do I exercise the dough again or just pick it up? Oh. You could just pick it up from right here. You don't need to press it down or anything. Is it like a C? Oh, I'm flowering my surface in the meantime to put the dough on because you don't want it to stick to your surface. Yeah. So taking this and roll it, yeah? Yeah, roll it into a dough ball. Look at this roll now, man. Boss of a roll. Roll it. Take care, drop it, you know. <laughs> you see me rolling. I'm rolling. You know that song, Natasha? Yeah. Na, 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 na. 
Get the raw rolling dirty. Don't get your rolling dirty. Don't let them get your rolling dirty. You know that song, right? Yeah. I don't know all of the lyrics, but I know of the song. Let me hear you sing it. No, I can't sing it. Let me hear you sing it. Guys, no, you no, all no. want Natasha to sing it? Gotta catch me rolling no, dirty. No, 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 no please. I think rain will Natasha fall. Sing it. <laughs> if I sing rain, it's surely going to fall. We need rain. You see, you see the weather these days? Blaze, Blaze, don't put me on the spot, please. Who wanna hear Natasha sing roll? roll Nobody. Please. Or oh, any roll song. Roll up the tassa, roll up the tassa. Okay, I'll sing that one. Roll up the tassa, roll up the tassa. Is it B-Sassa? Natasha. Go, Natasha, go. <laughs> roll. Right, so I put a little flower on the, on the, on the counter here, Natasha. Good. I'm a little bit behind you. So that's good. Dress it here, eh? I made six because... I made them pretty big, but you can make them smaller so you can get eight if you're doing them smaller. Look at this man. Look, 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 look at this man. All right, that's two. I think I could only get four. Okay, that's all right. As long as you get some. So how much bacon shark do you usually eat? Two. Oh my God, I eat four. <laughs> what size is your bacon shark, Miss Wendy? No, when I go Maracas, I buy four. I eat one. Then I wait a little, eat a next one. Then when right. we're driving down the road, I have a next one. And by the time we reach home, I feel for the last one. Oh, I thought you mean like at one time. You mean no, you no, eat no. throughout the day? <laughs> yeah, you know, you buy... You, when you eat that first, when you're going up the road, you'll be like, oh gosh, you know, I could eat the next one. Oh, I eat two, one time, and then, you know, if if the need, the urge is there again, you know, you go for another one. But then yeah. sometimes, you look, according to how far you are from your favorite bacon shark person, that will, that will depict how much you'll buy. Eh? Well, true, because, I mean, when I go to Trinidad, we, um, when I, I visit, I usually visit once or twice for the year, so make sure I get enough. Oh, great. So where, damp, where you... Right, go ahead, damp cloth. And put it over the door, let it just sit. We want it to sit for about two to three minutes. Okay. Well, damp cloth. Let's head over to the side. Right. Now, what's, what's the reason for dampening the cloth, Natasha? Again, so it doesn't dry out on the top and create a... Uh, it creates this kind of skin that's hard and crackly when you go to roll it out. Okay. Because, um, you know, this is something that those, you see, the intricacies that you brought with the dampening of the cloth and so on, that is what will make the recipe perfect. Yeah. But some people will say, well, I can't, she say cover it and my thing come out hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Dampen the cloth. Mm -hmm. the water with the thing, the warming of the water, I guess, is with, with the flowers yeah. do that. When you're kneading flour, that warm water really helps to give you a nice dough. Nice. So, folks, you're listening to Natasha. Eh? I'm going to fix my chef hat here. Nice. Looking good. Eh? Good. So, what we're going to do next, put that oil to heat on a medium heat. Because when we roll out these, we want to be able to fry them. So let's get the oil going, and once when the oil is heating up, we'll prepare the garlic sauce. Okay, great. Let me get my stove ready here. Okay, in kitchen stadium on CNC three. So guys, if you're cooking along, get all of your ingredients together for the garlic sauce next. All right, so you have to be pot. Put up your pot with your oil in it on a medium heat. So you're using a gas stove, so medium. Right. Tell me something. Um, this is this electric. Tell me something, Natasha. Yeah. Is it to add the oil after the pot is hot or before the pot is hot? Well, I'll be honest with you. I put it before the pot is hot, so it heats evenly. 
Oh. Because if some 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 people may forget that the pot is hot, and then by the time they put the oil, the pot is too hot. And it burns the oil. Yeah. So all right. So I'm making enough oil to cover a a a. A bake. A bake. Yeah. And what I'm doing is we're using one pot to do all of the frying, so you don't have to waste oil. And in that way, we'll fry the bake first. There's not much flour residue from that, and then we'll fry the shark or the fish after because whatever flour is on that would fall out into the oil and start to burn, if that makes sense. Right. Now, you'll have to remove the residue, as I said, right? From, no, it's not gonna have much residue when we finish fry the, the baker. Okay. And he's using NFM's Lotus soya bean oil. Oh. It's a re no, listen, this is a very big pot, eh, Natasha. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> this, this, maybe done any other one. this pot is, is a pot of pots. Should have done it. Can you, look at the size of this pot. Look. Yeah, it's a, but it's a nice it's, pot. It's a really nice pot. It's just wide, very wide. When you use wide. a wide pot, you have to use more oil. And if you use a smaller pot, you use less oil. <sighs> I should change pots. Yes. You want to? Yeah, right there. Don't worry, it doesn't sparkle. So guys, please continue to. Um, someone is saying that our screen format changed. We're still seeing it side by side. Blaze. It yeah. went from it's switching from me to you, so they prefer to see it see us side by side. I'm side. I see it side by side. It's on a delay, I believe. So right now, what they're seeing is you emptying the oil. Uh huh. It's back. Ask them if it's back. No, it's, is it back? No, not yet. Sir. I'm seeing it side by side. And now someone isn't hearing any audio. So is anyone else? Okay, it's, it's back now side by side. Is anyone Good. else not hearing audio? Okay, they're saying it's good now. Good. So the oil hot. Um, in terms of the, the temperature of the oil, would you measure it or you just, I mean, you, you, you're very advanced in cooking, so you would, you might be able to say, well, okay, looking hot. Well, what I, what I do is um, I put it, well, my stove is electric also. It's on 6.5 right now, but it, I don't have a thermometer to check the oil. But what I do is you take a wooden spoon, yeah. you dip it in the oil, and what happens, you see bubbles starting to form around the spoon. And that's when you'll know that the oil is ready. Oh. If it's rapidly... Um, creating bubbles, then it might be too hot, but you want to see those bubbles. So you look for the little bubbles around the um, thing. If you don't have a wooden spoon, I guess you're average. Yeah. I mean, you could always test a little piece of flour and throw it in. And if it fries up really nice, you know it's good. If it gets brown too fast, you know it's too hot. That's what I normally do with eggs. Okay. Next okay. step. Because we, we have our dough balls. So let's go to the next step before the dough balls sit too long. Okay. So we're going to take our blender. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to make our garlic sauce. <sighs> Okay, so take your mayo, add it to the blender. Mm -hmm. And tell me when you have that. Okay. Um, I'm looking for some mayo here, girl. Just now. <laughs> okay. So guys, if you're making garlic sauce and you wanted it to be vegan, there is no um, mayo without eggs. So you guys can use that and it makes a really nice garlic sauce.
Someone is saying you can sprinkle a little bit of flour to in the oil to know when it's hot. Thank you for that tip. And I never tried that before. I usually just break a piece of the dough, put it in. Okay. So, Blake is, Blaze is getting his mayo. Well, pl plot, plot twist, I, I don't have mayo. Oh, okay. You Well, let me just show them how to make it. Okay, great, you, you show them. Yes. So guys, mayo goes in, some fresh garlic goes in. Mm -hmm. Then we have some white distilled vinegar. Right. I have white pepper. White pepper, sugar, salt. White pepper has a very distinct, different taste to black pepper, and it goes really well in garlic sauce. So some white this, pepper. Which yeah, is finding it, white pepper everywhere, right? What's that? You're finding white pepper everywhere. Yeah, it's, not it's, a pepper. yeah it's readily available now because Chinese food calls for lots of white pepper. Next, we're going to go in with some Bandania, it's also called Q Lantro, like a Q for queen. And um, we have a pimento pepper. And if you wanted to make this and can't find the Q Lantro or Bandania or Shadow Benny, also known as Rikao, you can use a little bit of cilantro, but use less because it's a very stronger um, flavor. So this goes in. And I'm adding in some milk. I'm adding a little, I'll blend, and if I want a thinner consistency, I'll just add more milk. So let me get the blender. Okay, this goes on. We're going to cover it. And what is, what are you doing? Um, um... Um, um, I added some more shark. Oh, okay, okay. I have two packs. I only use one pack, so All right. I added the other pack because there was a lot of um marinade. Yeah. So I'm gonna so, blend now, so you guys may want to lower the volume a little bit so that it does not affect you. If you look at the consistency of it and it's too thick, you can go in with a little more milk, but you don't want to add all of the milk at once because if it gets very thin, you'll have to go in with more um, mayo to balance that out. So just into a smooth consistency. This, this oil, even hot oil. That oil is real hot. What feeling hot? You feeling hot? Um, or the oil? I have AC. So. <laughs> you're feeling hot or you're feeling hot, hot, hot? Feeling hot, hot, hot by the song. I feel hot, hot, hot. Let me, hear, hot, hot, hot. Let me hear, sing that one. I just gotta sing it the three pieces there. Eh? I feeling hot, hot, hot. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Look at it. Look at the consistency. Excellent. Very, uh, very milky. Yeah, creamy and nice. Huh? Creamy, yes. And uh, I'm just gonna scrape. We don't want to waste this, you know. This is like no, white, that's precious. This is white gold. Yeah, that's 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 very precious. Okay, so garlic sauce is something you want to keep stored in your refrigerator if you're not using it right away. So I'm gonna just place this aside. All round up. You sang garlic sauce. He'll be proud of you, Natasha. Who's that? All rounder. Who sang garlic sauce? Okay, okay. You know so, that song? Um, you're gonna make me Google it. <laughs> Google it also. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
Fine, Kelly, I know this song, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Come, right. let's do the next step. Some dry right. flour. Flour your board. We're going to start to roll out the, um, the dough. Okay. Good. So, lightly flour. So my, my board is flour. So I'm just taking one of the dough ball and we're going to open it out like this. Okay. Um, my oil smoking, that's good news or bad news? Lower it. Lower if it's it, too right. hot, lower it. Hi guys, I hope you all are donating. I hope you all are enjoying our little show. Remember that uh, this uh, cooking series is throughout the month of May. You have a rolling pin or a bill now? A bill now? Let me see. Yeah. Hit, normally hit people with. <laughs> oh, we got uh, a bottle. Yeah, good. Also, a wine bottle. Yeah, we'll work with that. So we're going to roll this out to about a half of an inch. If you like a thinner bake, well, you roll it out a little bit thinner. So listen to what we're going to do. We're going to roll all of them and set them aside. So when okay, we so start to, Yeah, when we start to fry, we move really quickly and don't have to go back and forth. Um, the milk that was used was whole milk. Um, it's also called stay fresh milk in Trinidad. Stay fresh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Stay fresh is, 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 a, is a rock of ages. So for people who have problems frying beak and stuff at home, you know, we have this NFM's um, fry bake mix that makes it really easy for you. And even though you're using the mix, I'll give you guys a tip. When you roll it out, let it rest a little bit, like a couple seconds or maybe a minute and then start frying. And you'll see how it will pop up really nicely. Oh yeah, that's when they get a nice big bubble. Yeah. That is, that is what I want to get. That bubble is very important. If you're stacking the bakes, make sure they have dry flour so they don't stick to each other. That looks like a good size, not too, too thin. All right, good. This is a good big. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Nice, nice. Two more champion bakes. I'm going to tell the wife for your cooking. Please, please, please. please <laughs> you want, wait, you want to make me sing, right? <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll start to ask you some hard songs now. I don't know a lot of songs, I'm being honest with you. I, I, I love music. I just don't have time to learn the lyrics. <laughs> okay, good. So we'll make a deal, right? Yeah. You don't say anything and I won't ask anything. All right, good deal. Deal, deal. Yeah, man, my big looking good. Okay, let's see. Players, we want to see what you're doing. Yeah, I can see what he's doing. You guys should be able to see what he's doing. Huh? Yeah. Someone says Emmanuel Villafana. Thomas <laughs> Villafana. Huh? Ashwell Cooper. You think we get him, Blaze, to make this for us? <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, one of them is the wife. That, no, no, none of them, but they, they, they know her pretty oh, well. Yeah. And you know what? They will carry news. Oh my God. guys, come, don't do that, please. You will make me sing. They will carry news. Nah, nah, we can't have that. Especially Lisa, especially Lisa and Ashel. Oh my. 
But okay. we have to help Lisa and Ashel to make it then. Yes. Since they're watching the live, they have to make it. Yes. And then you'll be the judge just to see if they actually follow the instructions well. Yes, I'll be the, I'll be the critique. See that? See all that bake looking? Nice. For my bakes. If you make the bake too thin, it wouldn't bubble. No, it will, but it will be like a really, really thin bake, and then you wouldn't feel you it wouldn't feel full. I mean, you want a, a, a good size bake to eat with that amount of shark. Oh. I'm gonna move over. I'm just gonna move the camera closer to the stove so that they can see when we go to fry. You guys can see that. Let us know if you're seeing. My oil is feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah, my oil hot. I know. You know, let me let me test my oil and see. No, no. Okay, I see bubbles, so my oil is ready. Can you guys see those bubbles? My oil has been ready. Okay, so you're ready to put it in? Yep. Okay, so you're going to take the first one that you rolled out. Okay, first one. Yeah, and we're going to put it in. I'm going to just raise this up a pinch. You have um something to turn it close by? Make sure you have that. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a spatula. Okay, so put it in. It comes? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. And I'm going to flip mine. I like to flip it when I put it in. A big swelling up, man. Yeah. Hello. Look at that, guys. Hello. Oh, you want swell up before mine? Hello. Looking good. Now you see, NFM makes a great fry bake mix. My oil, I actually had the temperature a little lower. So his was really, really hot, so his blew up really quickly. But look at mine's is getting there. Look at that. Yeah, see? My one's and it has a nice brown color. I'll need to fry mine um, on a higher heat. Look at that. My big hello. This is the bake of bakes, eh? Look at that. Look how nice. Well done, Blaze. Everyone is saying well done, Blaze. Look at this. Look at this. I, mean, I need to get some color on mine. So. My, bake, my bake looking ready. Right, so you can, if it nice and has a nice color for you on both sides, continue to fry the rest. Sir. I don't like my bake too, too brown. So however you like your bake, you know, you fry it accordingly. Yeah, I'm on my second bake. Me too. Big swelling. Yeah. This, this NFM fry bake mix. Yeah. This is a life hack. Mm hmm Sure, right. Everyone needs to have a pack or two of this in their pantry at all times. Must. Going to buy some. See, Tracy, she's going to buy some. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Guys, you see how good it works? It fries really well. It pops up. You know, you guys say that you have problems with your bake popping up with this. This is like a, a no-brainer. Look at this bake number. And the smell, it smells like, you know, it reminds you of the beach. Yeah. Watch, uh, me and you going to give Richard and Uncle Sam and all of them some competition. Ready for them? Of course, uh, you will be making the bake and shop, and I would be just tasting and doing the marketing on the beach. Yes, yes, that's what I do. Bringing customers. So 
So you guys notice I told him to start with the first one that he rolled out. That's because we're giving um the bake enough time to rest so that when you do put it into the hot oil, it's gonna pop up really well. I do the same thing with sada roti too. You know something, Blaze? I think this fry bake mix would make a nice sada roti. Oh yeah, but sada roti, that's on a, 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 it's not the, a, what you call the flat, the, the, the flat. Uh, the flat roti? The tower. You put it on the yeah, you make the sada roti on the tower, and for people who don't own a tower, you can also make it in a frying pan. You cook it well on both sides, and if you can take it, you put it into your microwave for like about 40 to 60 seconds, and it pops up. Look at that big. Love it. Oh, yeah. I love the color of your bake. Oh, I like my bake. Yeah. My husband likes a brown, brown bake. I don't like no, my bake too brown. I'll tell you husband, I'll cook the bake for him. I'll All come right. and I'll, I'll cook, I'll show him the bake. All right, we have a deal. I'll bring the shark. Right, and I'll, and I'll organize the bake. Hot. And if you guys make a lot of bakes and have it sitting, make sure you can flip it over so that it doesn't dry out on one side. Blaze, Blaze, you think we could add some turmeric to this um, fried bake mix and um, you need the flour a little more soft and make, make doubles? I want to test that. What do you think? Of course. I think you should. I think it will be really good. Eh? I think it will be excellent. And once your doubles come out better than, well. <laughs> Blaze. Okay. But I'm sure your bake will come out better than own. Okay. No, I'm making doubles. I'm not making bake. Yeah, doubles will come out better than somebody doubles. Don't call any names here. Look, I don't want to get in any trouble. Huh? <laughs> okay. You finish? I have two more. I have one more to do. Let me see some comments. You guys are enjoying this live? Now, if you do not have the National Flour Mills um, <laughs> fry bake mix on hand, you should go out and buy some ASAP because you know after this, look how I'm not paying attention. Because you know after this, there might be a, sh a shortage, right? Yeah, for sure. You'll definitely get a shortage. I am going to get like three packs of this and keep it. Because, you know, right now in the U.S., yeast is very scarce. You can't find it anywhere. What, what, what's very scarce? Yeast. Or oh, meat? No, yeast. Like what you bake with, yeast. Okay, okay, okay. So if they have this, they don't have to worry about getting, you know, yeast. Everything is in the mix for them. You don't have to worry at all. Look at this. I'm a final bake here. Okay, I'm going to do my snow. Swelling really nice. Last one. Um, Blaze, do you know um, if the flour mix is available in the islands? Um, the flour mix? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but what I can do, I can organize, uh, I can go to NFM and pitch them out, take it up the islands for them. Yeah, we need to get it here in the US to in all of these Caribbean supermarkets. So. I, need, I need to send it up the road. Because this, I mean, this is this is worry-free. And you see what people, as I said before, what people always worry about is the swelling of the bake. They want to see the yeah. swell. So with this again, automatic swell. Automatic swell. You think swelling up. 
Nice, I'm done. So I'm just going to drop the temperature on my stove a little because we've had to fry the shark next and we don't want the oil to be screaming hot. Okay. So let's, when you're finished, I'm going to get ready to do the mix. Uh, making sure the edges get some here. So guys, Next, we'll prepare the flour, the dry flour mixture. Some people like using, um, we're using plain flour here, not the mix. Um, if you do, if you wanted to use cornmeal, of course you can. Everyone has their different things that they like to use. Yes, everyone needs to have, I would say two packs, three packs of this. Three packs? Yes. So turn down. So a shell Cooper is replying to, is it Gamil, Gamali? I hope oh I did. Oh God, that's my wife. Oh, so listen to this, Gamali. Am I saying it right, Gamali? Gamali. Balkaran. I yes. wish, I hope he is taking copious notes. As soon as outside open, I'm coming for some. <laughs> I thought she her. was out. He said I want for her. She reached home? No, I think I think she's still out. She said at how um say the word and I'll grab my mask and head out now. Oh, she wants to <laughs> come for it. <laughs> okay, you ready to do the next step? Ready, ready. So dry flour, about a cup. Okay. No, to that one. So guys, please continue to donate and share the link. And special thank you to NFM for being the sponsor of today's episode. Beautiful. Thanks, Trace. Mm -hmm. Right, so... We take, what again, sorry? One one cup of flour. One cup of flour. Okay. And he's using, you're going to use the lotus, um, no, the ibis flour this time? Ibis flour, yeah. Okay, great. Ibis premium grade flour, two kg pack. Yes. So one cup. One cup of flour. Putting in the cup. It doesn't have to be exact. Because we're just going to use this to dredge the fish. One cup. Good. In. Okay, so in this little bowl, I have some yeah. oil pepper seasoning, some paprika, some celery salt, some Cajun seasoning, and some salt. So I'm going, I'll go through with you one at a time. So let's add a little bit of salt to the flour first. Some salt. Yeah. So like about a quarter teaspoon because guys, when you're using all purpose seasoning and celery salt and Cajun seasoning, all of these contain salt. So if you wanted to omit salt, you can. I actually need a little extra salt in my diet. So. Right. Now you can go in with paprika. Mm -hmm. Paprika. A dash? About a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and then you're doing celery salt, a quarter teaspoon. Celery salt, quarter teaspoon. Nice, nice, nice. Right? And some of your red man seasoning, a quarter teaspoon. Right, the red man coming through. Right. Bam! Wait, one more. All purpose seasoning. Okay. 
Nie, on był pas. Nie ma małpy. Nice. Right. And we're gonna mix that. Mix that. Yeah, mix it so it's combined. Nice. Thank you to everyone who has joined us and who is watching. Farida Ali says, Blaze, I like how your big come out. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Farida. I'll bring a big here. So bring your shark over or your fish. And now we're going to we're gonna take pieces, dip it into this dry mixture, and then we're going into the oil with it. One time. Yeah. If you wanted to like um dredge oil and then start frying, of course you can do that. Bring you guys closer so you can see. Turn it over. Um... So you take your piece of fish, dip it in, make sure it's coated. Shake off the excess flour. Because if you don't shake off the excess flour, you're going to end up with a lot of flour burning in your arm. You have a good fish. What do you say? You're going to put bun fish. Yeah, and then it's going to taste bad. So I'm going to go in with my fish. My oil is nice and hot. And you want to fry it. If your pieces are small, you fry it for like about five, six minutes. If it's bigger, eight to 10 minutes. Looking. <laughs> they want to know. Wait, I think by the time Blaze finished, he can sell bacon shark. <laughs> um, any samples? Joey wants to know if there are any samples. Um, yeah, tell it's Joey. I'll bring a big firm today. Okay, so he said he'll bring one for you today. <laughs> Tell him look, look out for me, make sure. Okay, make sure Blaise, I look out for you. They're saying Blaze needs to focus on his camera or focus his camera. Ooh, what's smelling? Real good. It smells like shark. Right, nice. Smell like maracas. Good. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. See how that looks in there, Trace? Excellent. Thank Trace you, Dana. Trace is manager. <laughs> so I should say it's that set, sir. Yeah. Sorry, soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my shark, my man. Folks, if I can do this, anybody can do this. I'm just letting you all know that. Okay. I just give my hands a quick wash. Just washed mine. This, this smelling so good. I want to taste yours. You want to taste mine? That is yours. <laughs> when is the next flight? I'll be I'm right here. I'm just getting something off camera. I'm ready to eat this one. 
when you're frying fish or any type of uh, meat, don't overcrowd the pan. Oh, nice. Look at this. Look at this. Let me see. Ooh, looking good. That? Um, are you guys hearing me clearly? I know that the, um, the frying is making a lot of um, bubbling sounds. Okay, good. Yeah, drip dry, drip drip. I like my um my fish or my shark to be a little crisp. Yes. You have to get crispiness. You know, I'm gonna start shark here. You know what? I like that you put the seasoning in the flour. A lot of people um well. They don't put seasoning in flour, they just put pure flour. So it's very important to put the seasoning in the flour. Yeah. It, it adds more flavor. Yes, it does. This is a little bit on the bigger side, like thick. My pieces are, are thin. Okay, yeah, so yours will finish fry pretty quickly. Yes, this is the morning thin side, you know? Do you guys have any questions in the meantime for us? What are you doing now? So, are you dredging? Yeah, I actually have some, I have four pieces in the pot right now, and I have three more pieces to go. So someone, Andrea wants to know who's doing the cleanup. Yes, I want to know who's doing the cleanup. Who's doing the cleanup? Oh, who's doing the cleanup? I'll be cleaning up with Tracy. Okay, nice. Tracy will be leaving the cleanup charge. Thank you, Devika. <laughs> Maria says, Natasha, your recipes are so easy to follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone who supports me. It means a lot to me. Okay, let's see which pieces I've done. For these small pieces. Let me see here. I think I need to pour a little bit more wood on the fire. Oh, this is smelling so good. It's smelling, you know, um, it's it's great because you think, you know, some people, a lot of people think that you have to season days before and have it soak in and paint in the freezer and you know so this is this is kind of teaching because i i grew up you know knowing that yeah the season well in days in advance and all kind of things so this yeah. is kind of good. you don't have to do it days in advance you i i at least if you have a, a half an hour or 15 minutes and then seafood you don't want to season it too long and leave it in the refrigerator because yeah okay. sometimes you can especially that we put um that lime pepper sauce in here, you don't want to cook your seafood in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay. Let me see, let me see a shark. Yeah, let me bring it closer. Very nice. That's, that's, uh, what, what fish is that again? White fish? Yeah, tilapia. Tilapia. Nice. I could uh, smell it just now there. You want to you wanna hear a joke? Let me hear you. So I'm Not I was stealing for bacon, shark, and I didn't have any fish. I didn't have any shrimp. 
So I cut up chicken and seasoned it, but I sliced the chicken like if it was fish, and I gave my husband to eat it, and he thought it was fish. You thought it was fish? Yeah, because the way that I seasoned it and the way that I cut it, and it was cooked, yeah. and I put all of the dressings on it, just like a bacon chunk, and he's like, oh, this fish isn't really good. Oh, holy man. <laughs> That's the only thing I pulled him with, yeah? Suppose the day before he eats the bitten meat. Oh, no, I would have known because I cook it, so I would have <laughs> You're fooly, man. But it actually, to be honest with you, it tasted really, really good. Okay. Okay. So, um, so then I guess the next step after this is to... Assemble. Here's the cotton. Me and Tracy mash up the place. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fry the next step because it's going to take longer. Yeah. So I have enough here to assemble one. Yes. So I'm taking off the stove. Mm -hmm. So we can assemble and we can show them. Can show Are you guys off. excited? Are you ready for the premiere of Natasha and Blaze's bacon shop? We have our, our dressings, our toppings. Here we have the shop. Get one of this nice beef. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a little more topping here. Some pineapple. Yes. Let me show them what I have. I have pine, I have onions, cucumbers, lettuce, wow. and the garlic sauce in the end. I have some tomatoes and some cabbage. Wow. I have, I must have ketchup. If you don't like ketchup in your bacon jar, something is wrong. Yeah, you must. That's a must. And I have pepper sauce. All right, so I have pineapple. I have lettuce. I'm gonna cut my beak. I wanna show them. Nice. Mm, look at that pocket. Perfect. Mm, smells really good. I have tomatoes, I have lettuce, I have cabbage. You know it's really nice and light and fluffy. I like that. And it's not thick and heavy. Yes. Some people like thick bake, eh? but not today. No, if you like thick bake, all you have to do is don't roll it out as thin. Okay. And make, make smaller balls. Um, if they want to thick, make the balls a little pinch bigger. Then you roll it out to about a half of an inch thickness or a little bigger, thicker, and then fry it. All right. So I'm going to cut my bake. Yeah. All right. This is, this is my bake here. Someone says they could smell the ocean breeze. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can smell it. Thank you, Diane. Okay, great. So you see, I've, I've cut my beak. Yeah. Beak is ready. Oh, looks nice, good. Yeah. Have a little cavity in the beak to lay the stuff in. Nice. And all we have to do is start to assemble. I'm going to take out the set of, the set of shark I was frying here. Put three pieces because I want to make sure I have space to put the toppings. I'm gonna oh. wait on you. This stuff looks excellent, Natasha. Guys, look at this. Practice right in your own home. The, the, the length of time they would take to drive to Maracas, they could whip this up. And they can't go to Maracas because of lockdown. Yeah, exactly. But on a normal day. On a normal day, yeah. Yeah. Right. So make sure I go pick up your pack of fry bake mix. 
So I have my beak. Right. So do you have my fish? I'm gonna put in my fish. This is I'm sure you're here. One okay. nice fish here. Another piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, small, oh, small hands nice. again. Nice. So you see? Yeah, looking good. All right, nice. And then I'm going to put some tomato or tomato. Which one? Tomatoes. Tomato, right? Right, I'm going to put my tomato. Pine. Say it again? Pineapple. Pineapple, nice. I have my pineapple here. Yes, we have some onions. Yeah, I love I love raw onions. Nice, we have onions. We have some cabbage. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll follow you. And then we top it with lettuce. I'm putting cucumber in mine. Oh, yes. I put the lettuce and it's a loaded. This is a loaded bacon shark. Yeah. This is fully loaded. What? This is a very healthy. Yeah? You all see how much um, vegetables and veggies went into this? Look at that. This is loaded bacon shop. Look at this. Look at I mean, look at this. I'll I'll just set the lettuce aside so you can see. See that, guys? See him? Okay, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We have well. I'll put garlic sauce on mine. We have to dress it now with our garlic sauce, yep. ketchup, pepper. <laughs> garlic sauce and then go on with a little bit of ketchup oh wow all right so i have ketchup here Hi. and some mustard thanks tracy oh no i don't go mustard honey mustard well you know what i have tell me what you have <laughs> Tamarind pepper sauce. Which pepper sauce? Tamarind pepper sauce. Tamarind. Yeah, or oh, tamarind, tamarind, yeah, tamarind. Mm -hmm. All right, we have some, add some red hot sweet chili. Okay. They see the, the sauces are really up to you as what you like. Yeah, what you like on yours is what you would put. Look at that. Red chili, hot sweet Thank red you. chili. <laughs> nice. What I'll do, yeah. I'll take this, cut this, and cut it. Cut it. But, but it's a big lettuce. Just cut it here, put some here, put some here. Put some here and close it. Voila! I love it. Put some garnishing here. You just garnish for please. Look how he making it presentable. And garnish my plate here. How I looked it. Looking like a boss. Check this out, check this out, check this out, Tracy. Check this out. <laughs> now we have to taste it. Now we have to taste. You taste. You ready to taste, Natasha? Yeah, ready. Wait, let me get a napkin. Let me taste Tasting time. Guys, I'm going to take a bite for all of you who, all who join us on this live and all of you all who are watching. And please remember to donate 
today's um, sponsor was the National Flour Mills for their fried bake mix. You guys have to go pick up a couple packs of this. It's going to sell out so fast, so make sure. We're not telling you to leave your home just to go and get it, but if you're going out to get essentials, definitely pick it up. Um, and well, please remember, uh, if you this, make this, this will become an essential, eh? <laughs> Well, true. Uh, it's so going to be an essential. So yeah. when you guys make it, take a photo and tag us, send it to us, direct message us. You can send it to Blaze or to my page or to Proper Eats page and we'll definitely repost it. We want to see what you guys create. Let's see? Yes. This is what creates it. That is that, the, that, holy, the holy grail. That's the magic right there. I'm going to set up my studio here. Yeah. Nice. You're supposed to tell your wife if to come. Um, stay home. Don't come. Okay, he'll he'll bring it for you. Yeah, I'll bring it. I'll deliver. Mm -hmm. So I take a picture. There and what I'll do, I'll take a picture. Yeah. And post it to Instagram and Facebook and tag Natasha and nice. proper you. Portrait I hope you guys enjoyed this live. Remember to stay tuned this week for more episodes. I will be sharing them on my Instagram page and on my stories and on Facebook so you will know who will be cooking next and what they'll be cooking. You guys can get the ingredients. And um, let me see what they're having for Sunday lunch. Do you remember what they're having for Sunday lunch this Sunday? Me? Yeah, do you know? What I'm having? No, <laughs> if they'll be cooking this Sunday. I'll be sure. Um, I don't know, but whatever happens, please invite me. <laughs> okay. Please do. So uh, it's time to taste. So Sunday we're having Big Rich. Ooh, Big Rich is a chef, eh? Let me just tell you that. Big Rich and Taddy Boom are cooking a corned beef macaroni pie at noon on Sunday. So you want to make sure and stay tuned for that. That is going to be uh, awesome. You've ever had macaroni pie with corned beef in it? No. That song ain't like Big Rich and Taddy Boom. Yeah. Corned beef and, and macaroni pie. I never had it. You had that, Tracy? Yes. Oh. I remember my mom used to make that for us. When I used I used to eat beef, but when I got married, I stopped. Right. Yeah. Wow. Never had that one. And I stopped eating meat since January. So oh, okay. I may not have that one for a while. But I can imagine how it is. I know Big Richard and well, Taddy Boom will explain. Yes. So we're ready to taste. Chop, chop. And his brother is also vegan. Whose brother? Big Rich? Apparently, yeah. Well, my brother is vegan. Your brother is vegan? My brother is vegan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your brother is vegan. Right. My brother is vegan. Yams, he's vegan. So oh. I, I'm just, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten vegan stage yet. Oh, okay. I, I don't know, you know. I don't know if I could give it up. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I guess it's just, it's a mind thing and it's replacements. Okay. Ready to taste? Ready to taste. Let's go. Mm. Yes, this is a. We have to a, big, uh, a good bite. corner to bite in. This is the first time I'm eating a bacon shark by my hand. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It took like the waves breaking. Mm hmm. The sun setting for the afternoon. We look towards the west of Morocco to see the sun setting and the waves breaking gently and tenderly. And the wind blowing on your Morocco's by itself. Nice. Yeah, nice. You like you like to go Morocco's more in the afternoon? I like to go early mornings. Me too. 
Yeah, before the before the, the hard rush start. You know why I like to go early? Why? Because I just ready to go for bacon shark. <laughs> So, so yeah okay. have some crispy pieces of bake so guys i want to say thank you thank you blaze for being here with me and doing this with me maybe one day um we can do it again of course i mean this thanks for inviting me um this uh this really gave a boost of my confidence you know that's good yeah, it did, especially, I mean, with your guidance and with the fry bake mix, mm -hmm. it, it's an RL boost. I ain't gonna lie. Teresa, I ain't regretted with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, she would have beat you, you know. Oh, God, Teresa, she would have had me for lunch. <laughs> More, but so, she's very funny. We love you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys go Thanks pick up. Tracy. Tracy really helped me out today as well. Thanks, yeah, thank Tracy. You. Thank you to the camera woman. Make sure you make her one. Don't let her make her own. Um, <laughs> good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned to Proper Eats, the Facebook page and their YouTube channel. And everything is rerun. Make sure and donate. This is for such a great cause. Let's help these needy families. And make sure send us your pictures. We love you for joining us today. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, it was an excellent show. Yeah. And make sure stay tuned tomorrow. Should I get your lion branded uh, yes. apron, huh? Thank you so much to NFM for being today's um, um, sponsor. And we love you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Stay safe, everyone. Take Bye. care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Thank you.